what is up guys crazy wizzy and today i'm gonna be reviewing the brave web browser so i'm just gonna open it okay there we go guys this is what it looks like when you open it it's simple this is what makes it fast because there's nothing here nothing make the browser lag or anything so uh first of all we want to do is um uh, go to settings so that we can see some of the settings it has so you just go to the right and click these uh three menu lines right here and then um here you can make a new tab this is to make a new tab you can make uh, a new tab a new private tab a new session tab you know or a new window you know you have everything and then uh this is the search and then you can print you can zoom in and zoom out and um here i want to go to the settings so i can show you guys so first off, you have uh, the general settings there. This is uh, Brave starts with, uh, what, when you open Brave, you want it to start with uh, Windows from last time. I always change it to my homepage right there. And my homepage is going to be um, google.com. There you go. And uh, here you can change the language. If you speak Spanish, you put it to Spanish. You know, I'm just going to leave it in English. And um, these are the uh, bookmark settings. You can... Uh, always show the bookmarks uh, or the five icons, you know yeah and then here you just have uh, all your other basic settings you go to search so this is uh, your preferred search engine so if you want to use a uh, duck duck go that's um but i always use google so i keep it on google the location bar settings you know you can show your history matches like if you have searched for the term before or your bookmark settings or you know and uh, i want to turn this on offer search suggestions we're going to go to tabs that's the next and you can set up the number of tabs you can have uh, per set. Uh, so I have 10 here, you know, there you go. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on this, on, on tabs. So we're gonna go to security, which is probably one of the most important. Here you have uh, the private data. So uh, if you turn this on, uh, once you close the web browser, it's gonna clear your history. And it's gonna clear your download history. And it's gonna clear all cached image on and files and all site cookies you know it's basically clearing clearing everything you've done online as soon as you exit the brave web browser so uh the next is passwords and forms so um if you want to save passwords you know like what google chrome does whenever you log in it says you want to save your password so that next time you only have to type the password and uh so brave web browser has that so you can do this and if you don't trust it, you can use a uh, one password, which you have to install a, a, an application or you can use a last pass, you know, or you could um, use a dash line, I think dash lane. And uh, here you can manage your passwords. You know, if you have, I don't have any passwords now, but uh, if you had passwords, you can manage them here, you know, and uh, let's go back to settings. And then here you have uh, the do not track so you can turn this on and um so uh plugin settings so you can enable adobe flash uh, and that's like um for those websites where you play video games you know they always ask you to enable flash so i just leave it like this and then i turn it on whenever websites ask for one yeah and uh the next thing is we go to shields which is another important uh part so this website uh, blocks ads it has a built-in ad blocker and um here it says uh, show Brave ads. So these are ads that are sponsored by Brave. And uh, I always go to um, block ads, you know, because I don't want any ads on my um, web browser. And uh, cookie control. So you can block all third party cookies or you can allow all cookies. So I always block uh, most of them. You always want to en enable HTTPS everywhere because uh, it makes it takes you to secure websites, you know. And uh, you always want to block uh, phishing and malware. And uh, I mean, you might want to block scripts, but uh, some websites uh, run on scripts. So you might not be able to view the websites or they might be all messed up because you have blocked scripts. So I leave this and block HTML canvas and all this. You don't want to block these because basically all websites are made up of HTML canvas. Not all, but other websites they have uh, HTML canvases so i always uh, leave this disabled and uh you can, let's go to advanced so you can change your zoom in level um uh, based on uh, how you want it you know 
mine is always 100 percent i'm good with that um and uh you can use hardware acceleration when available and this makes your browser fast and uh yeah and then you can read uh, uh pdf files on this browser too so uh, yeah this is pretty much it guys about uh, this web browser so if you want to um uh, check for updates. Yeah, that's another thing. You just go on this uh, these three menu lines and then you just go to um help and then you go to check for updates. And then as you can see there's no update. Yeah guys, um if you have any video suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'm out. Peace.